Hi, it's Elder, and in this video, I want to share with you my top five free extensions for Blogs app. And if you don't know what Blogs app is, it is a easy to use a visual website builder for Mac, and it allows you to create great looking websites without knowing anything about code. If you don't have Blocks app installed on your Mac, I will leave the link in the description below to the official website where you can download the unlimited time free trial and check it out. It's a very easy to use and cool app. There are a number of third party websites where you can download extensions for Blocks app, but in this video, I'm going to show you the Blocks store, which is the official store from the developer of Blocks application. And here on the main page, we have some featured items. And then we have the few sections. We have tutorials. And as you can see, we have the Blocks Master, my tutorials and my courses here as well. Then we have some tools like uh, Solis, for example, great application. We have uh, templates. And as you can see, there are some of my templates from blockstemplates.com. You can download them here as well. And then there are two other categories, blocks, which are basically the sections for the pages we use in our blocks projects and bricks. These are used for extending the functionality of the application. Let me show you five free ones I use all the time. But as you can see, there are a lot of uh, a lot more free and paid options. You can check them out yourself. I will leave the link in the description once again. So uh, the first brick, the first extension I want to show you is follow links. And it is very simple, but very useful, a little brick for the social icons. So let's click on details and go to the follow links page. As you can see here, we, we have some easy, uh, simple demo here and few words explaining how this works. To install the extension, all we need to do is to click on this button here, get follow links. It will download the extension to our Mac. You can see here follow links dot backs. And all we need to do to install it is just double click and it will open the blocks application. And because I already have this brick installed, it will ask me if I want to reinstall it. So I will say yes. And that's it, it's installed. So now we can just, let's actually close it and open blocks again. So we need to reopen it to work properly. And then let's open any project. So let's say the podcaster template. And actually I already have this brick here in the navigation bar. As you can see, it says follow links here and follow links here as well. But let's say that I want to add these icons under the text here above the button. So how we can do that? Well, let's uh, select this text. Just click on this plus button and you will see the brick bar, which is the collection of all of the bricks you have on your Mac. And you can change the amount of rows visible when you click on this. So let's make it five. And from here, you can just find it go through the categories or you can just search inside your brick bar so let's type follow and as you can see we now have this follow links installed let's click and yeah we now have this follow links and once again you can see that in the right sidebar in the inspector we get some options so if we select something else we will see some other options if we select the follow links brick it will give us the options for this brick. So by default, it, the style is set to classic. Let's change it to, for example, round or rounded. Actually, let's use round, it's better. Then we can set the alignment to be center right or left. So let's make it center. And then we can change the size just by using the slider. And of course, the spacing between the links, very easy to do. So something like that. And the last thing we need to do here is, of course, change the IDs for social networks. So for example, uh, for Twitter, we can just type our username here. So my username is my name. 
and if I wanted to, I can change the color. So by default, it's set to be the official color for Twitter. We can click here and change it to, let's say, white. If you want to have all white icons, we can do that for all of the icons we have here. Instagram as well. And we can change the we can change the IDs for all of the networks we have here. So now these icons are added to the page, they connected to my account and I customized it to look how I want. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is the follow links brick. I use it basically on all of my websites. It's very easy to use and very cool little brick. So the other brick I wanted to show you is, let's go to bricks and let's type tilt. The other brick I wanted to show you is hover tilt, which is the very cool brick, as you can see, it basically the image, which has some very beautiful hover effect. So once again, let's install it by pressing, clicking on get hover tilt double clicking and as you can see it says that now it has been successfully installed and because I didn't have it installed on my Mac it just shows me the message saying that I installed it now so I will click OK and if I try right now it won't be there so tilt as you can see I don't have it here so what I need to do is close blocks application open it again right now we can go back here let's say we want to add this image under this text so now you can see already in the media category we have the hover tilt new brick let's edit here and we have some image placeholder so let's select it and add some image for example this mic so we can change a few things here for example the text we can make it light so it's uh, more visible. We can change the type of face to something different. And yeah, let's go to preview mode to see how it looks. So we have this image and when we hover the mouse, as you can see, it gives us this cool 3D look and image is moving as well. So let's go back to edit mode and see what other options we have here. So we can change the size for this image here. We can add the alternative tag text, which is important for SEO. And we can enable or disable the 3D shin. So 3D shin, if we disable it, you will see that we won't have this white 3D effect, which is just moving around, but we don't have this reflection. So let's enable it back and see again. Yeah, as you can see, we have this reflection. So uh, in addition to that, we can also link this image to some page. So by default, it is set to be linked to home page. So let's link it to about page and type here about us. And let's go back to preview. When we hover, it moves when we click will bring us to the about page and if we want we can also link it to URL so we can just select the type URL and type the URL here so I'm not going to do that the next one is also related to the images so let's go back here and search for image and as you can see we have quite a few for images and the one I wanted to show you is image comparison. It is very useful brick if you want to compare two images. Like you can see on the demo here. So let's download it once again. Double click to install. Close blocks and open it again. So now let's add the image once again under this text. And if we look to the media, category as you can see we have this image comparison brick available and it is very easy to use to be honest there are not a lot of options 
we get just before image and after image placeholders. So for the before image, let's add this one. For after image, let's add another image. So you need to have two images which are the same size like I have here. And of course, you should probably use similar images to show the differences, but I will just use two completely different images here. And if we go to preview mode, you can see that we can drag this slider to left or right to see the difference between these two images. So the next break I wanted to show you is related to our cookie banner and it's called cookie consent. So let's open it and click on get cookie consent. Now uh, to install the cookie consent brick, we need just to add it to the global area, for example, to the footer. So let's say we want to add this brick to our page. So all we need to do is add our cookie consent brick here and it won't be visible under these links. You can place it above this. You can place it anywhere in the global area. It doesn't matter. And if we go to preview right away, you will see the default look for this. Actually, we will need to go to the browser preview to see it. As you can see, now we have this browser preview. We can we have this bar at the bottom of our website. And if we go back to blocks and click on this blue bar, cookie consent brick, it will give us lots of options actually. So we can change the position, bottom, top, or we can make it floating left or right. So let's try floating right. Let's go back to browser and as you can see, floating right looks maybe better for some people, depending on what you like. Then you have a couple of themes, classic and edgeless. Let's try edgeless. Sounds interesting. Yeah, as you can see, it is a cleaner look. Then we have the message. So this is the message we get here. We get the link label. So you can see by clicking here, you can change this text here and the URL you want to link this label to. We can also change the background. So let's make it blue and we can make the background of the color blue as well. We can change the text of the button and we can change the text of the button as well. So let's say I agree. Let's go back to preview. And as you can see, I changed it all to blue. I changed the text for the button. And well, if I wanted, I could change everything here. So once people click on it, it just goes down here and becomes barely visible. The final brick I wanted to show you is actually any of the, any of the, these three particles, animated shapes or waves. They're pretty much the same, just a different type of style. So if you go to particles, you can add some cool animations like these particles to your hero images. So let's download it and install it. Particles. And let's do the same once again for the, I think the newest one, the shapes, animated shapes. It was just released a couple of days ago, I believe. So let's download this as well. Okay. And I will add the default hero page like that. And I will add the image background so we can see the effects better something like that. So to add any of these cool animations, we need just to add the brick to this page. And let's add it here. Basically, it won't be visible here anyway, but let's add it here. It is in the MISC, the last category. So let's add particles first. And let's click on this blue button this blue bar to get to the appearance settings. As you can see, we can change the color, number, size, speed, and some other things. But before doing that, let's go to preview mode to see what it is. So as you can see, this is the particle school effect. 
and if we move the mouse as you can see it basically have some cool hover effect as well so let's go back here and try to change some settings for example let's make the dots visible better lines better we can change the speed to be a little bit slower make them bigger color white is okay and let's make lots of them 150 so let's open it again and yeah this is what we get you can see that now it is much better visible you can experiment to set it to what you like so this is one thing let's delete this and let's add the other which was just released yesterday it's called shapes so let's click on shapes and we only have a couple of options here we can change the type of shapes circles triangles or squares we can set how many we have and color so let's see how it looks by default yeah well, no, nothing special but it looks cool for some websites it might be very good animation to have let's make it 100 yeah now we have a lot of them so yes uh, like i told you we have much more than just five or six how many i showed you in this video you can go to blocks.store and uh, check all of the other cool extensions we have here and actually there are some cool paid ones as well for example site search i use it on a couple of my projects so that's it for this video and if you have any questions or need help with your blogs project i'm always here to help